I don't think we're gonna jump though. <laughs> guys huge difference from the other day or yesterday with all the snow man look it's clear so let's do another uh let's do another break-in tank on the uh 5b obr full mod 34 reed case i already ran it earlier let it cool for 15 minutes so i'm trying to do as many tanks like this as I can because tomorrow tomorrow we're probably going to be getting out to the soccer field if I feel like it's dry enough throw the uh, the off-road knobbies on her she should fire right up You can get on it a little bit more right now, but not much. I haven't put the lid on it yet. Sounds just as badass as it did the other day. I'll tell you that. And I hope the weather's good tomorrow. I did a few more idle tanks during the snow, but not much. Just give it a little blips up to half throttle, nice and easy. No pin in it yet. Idle still beautiful. It's gonna be a short video, guys. Brakes work great. I've got the end point. Perfect. Only 45% EPA on the brakes, and they're stopping perfect. It's all how you set the actual disc and the brake pad. And you don't want your throttle to open any more than the hammer, hammer falls. Oh man, I'm not even getting at the very end of that pull. That's barely even half at the very end of that pull. I'm 
I'm also stoked to see what uh, Todd over at RC Ohio does with that E5B. Uh, that thing's gonna be a beast, man. Only getting to half throttle. This thing is going to scream. something I did too in a minute when we shut it down. Steering in points are good. Not going too far, but far enough. No torque on those servos. Servos are not heating up. dog wants to play with it. Not with this one. The next break-in tank that I do tomorrow is going to be with the uh, body on. We're going to start seeing how that body reacts. with the uh, pipe and the header wrap and then the tape that I put on the inside of the body. Supposed to be getting the uh, the axis tethers, the gauge tethers for this thing. Supposed to be delivered today, but they're not here. The mail's been all jacked up because of the weather. I got the uh, axis uh, steel tethers. That way we don't lose the uh, body clip. I'm also waiting on my boots for my MBX-6. That snow was really beautiful, guys, but I am so glad it's gone, man. I actually got to go out and make some money today. Getting geared up for summer, man. A lot of projects coming soon. A lot of projects that I want to do. 5T build. Try out a Bartolone read. Eight XE. E word. Speed run chuggy.
All right, guys, I think I'm going to bring it in and let her cool down. Still putting her at bottom dead center. All right, let me show y'all what I did. I forgot to show y'all this the other day. My battery wasn't charged. Was... You be quiet. Shh. Peanut hates this thing. I chased her around with the TRX-4. I didn't video that. Hey, it's enough. But anyway, so the A. Hey, so the um, the silicone spray is still burning off of the header wrap. Hey, stop. Still burning off the header wrap. You still see some smoke on it. I had soaked this thing for days in silicone spray. And it's done its trick, man. Nothing's flying off. It's molding down. It's good. So, see the zip tie there? I, um... That outerwear on this short stack was a little loose, man. So, I just pulled it up and I put a zip tie on it just to ensure that, for one, it wouldn't come off because it does stick out of the body. And for two, um... To keep any dirt or debris coming coming in there but i'm thinking that this uh this 22 this stock uh, i think it's a 58 spur with the 22 pinion is right on point man right on point there there's no way that this is geared too high i think the 58 20 the stock gearing is is only going to be for a lot of torque you're not going to get any top end out of it this 22 58 i think is going to be on point for both because you saw it was getting nice nice torque and plenty of meat to go man so i think this is going to be right on time this this uh gearing setup right here yeah not cold nothing the servos are good in points mesh everything's beautiful man all right guys i think that's going to be about it we'll uh hopefully see you guys tomorrow man with a different set of tires out at the football field i'm probably still not gonna really get on it out there but uh we'll definitely put it through some paces man all right guys remember treat people the way you want to be treated and we'll see you on the next vid Yeah.